Yeah, I just wanted to show you what it's like driving out here. Scratching, the truck all up. This is what camping's about, you know. Getting out to a certain spot. Thank God they make uh, stuff you can put on your truck that takes the scratches out. You know, it's pretty funny, but... Uh, Yeah, in certain spots out here, you gotta have four wheel drive. I mean, it's I mean it's that bad out here. Uh, up here, a little ways is where I saw the bear scat when I was coming in, but I'm not too far from the highway. And there's tons of roads. Like if you look right here on my monitor. You can See that I'm not too far from it says NF222.8 that's the main road and as the arrows point up it's getting there kind of close uh, and then you got these ruts right here so you know when it rains out here this is all muddy stuff and that's good if you got a good mudding truck or if you got really good tires if you ain't got no spare tire, you're uh, pretty much it. Like right here is one of the spots I was thinking about camping in right there. But I wanted to get back a little bit more. You know, I could have camped back up in that area back in here somewhere. And uh, that's just uh, over here is I think where I saw the bear scat. See how the road goes. So you know if it rains through here. There's another spot I thought about. If your rooftop tent camping right here would be good. Make sure your windows are all the way up or and there's plenty of firewood to get if you're, you know, because all this dead stuff's on the ground. You just need enough for the night. That's if you're camping out here at night. Like right here would be a good little spot. Or even over here. But then again, it's kind of, it's not really adventurous, you know. Like where I went down was a, a dead end path that went to nowhere, it just, it just stopped. So I thought that was pretty cool. And you had to drive out of there probably about a half a mile. And I've been driving a little bit. This is the scenic route of Ocala National Forest here. One of, one of thousands of roads they have. Uh, they don't come through here and maintain all this like they really should because uh, it's a natural uh, habitat. You got to keep it natural, but I don't see nothing wrong with picking up some some dead limbs on the ground or something, you know, because there's a lot of people that do that anyway. You're not bringing in your own firewood and you're not bringing in any uh, bugs from somewhere else and putting it out here because they harvest these pine trees out here too. Uh, this is where the road comes in. Uh, I can go back this way, go back to the highway, or I can keep on going this way and see where it takes me. Uh, but it's already noon and I want to go home. But I know there's a lot of people turn left and see what's there, you know, or turn right and let's see you know, go, like, go home, you know, but, uh, I don't know, debating right now if I want to go, but I'm thirsty too at the same time, I'm, yeah, watch that, uh, reverse on this, because I got it in four low, I think I'm just gonna head on home, I'm right out here by 40, 
and uh, I got a map that shows all the roads out here and stuff where they go, but most of them don't go where, where they say they're going. Like someone cut that down to come through here a while back ago because it's brown. Next time I get out here, I'll, I'll drive around some more. I mean, I got a three quarters of a tank of gas, so it ain't like I'm going to run out of gas. Then I got some gas in the gas can if I got to use some. You always, you always want to have some extra gas, and like another five gallons of gas, because that'll give you at least 45 or 50 miles be able to get out of a tight spot and then uh, when you're riding in something like this you want to roll your windows up too well I mean you want to push them back so you don't snap them off like here would have been a good little campsite but there's actually two there's a road that goes down here but it looks like people were back in there because there's a if, uh, zoom in you'll see a bottle back there and i don't like being on the main trails like over here is another little spot could go camping on uh roll the window back up It's already 86 degrees out here, so I left at the right time. I figured I'd get out of here about by noon or be home by one, something like that, I guess. Uh, I think it's giving a flash. Look at that. This is probably where I want to put the 3M tape up for my truck for the GoPro 11 so you can talk while you're zooming out. Uh, someone dumped a whole bunch of stuff right there that don't even belong here. That's just people dumping stuff out here in the woods, you know. I mean, that's that's insane to do something like that. But you can see the highways right up there. You can see the cars coming by a little bit. Uh, and I didn't really want to camp this far away either from the highway. I mean, I was probably a little bit more back than this, but I was, I mean, you can hear the cars and everything, you know, if you listen on the video, but but I was somewhere where it's hard to get to. Like this is just a straight path in and out. Uh, yeah, like there's a lot of cool places over here to come over and do. If you're up in the Florida area, you know, like this stuff right here. This is, let's see if I can run out the window to show you what people do out here. This is, uh, this is just total crap. You know, you don't come out here and dump your bed or it looks like it used to be a couch. You know, you just don't do that. You know, I mean, try to pick up after yourself. You know, it, like people like that, they don't want to go pay a fee or a fine or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll get on there and see how the, uh, I gotta get out and set my mirrors. Push them back out. And you always wanna, yeah, I see beer cans, people come out here drinking and stuff. My truck is totally scratched all up, but I think I can buff that out with them. They got some stuff. Buff that out, but 
it's not bad it's gray just don't ever get a black truck a black truck will show everything white's better if you are going to get one and as you can see i got a brand new track truck pack practically it's 46,000 miles on there all right uh, when i came in here trying to get my seat belt on when i came in here the other day i hit this rut and i thought oh man i, I did some damage so probably help put a drive huh and uh you can see this rut. I mean, like when I came in, I hit the left side down pretty hard. I say, like, oh man, I did something. I know I did something because it just looped. It just dropped. You see it right here? I can zoom in on that. And you can see that. That's a drop and a half from here to here. And when I hit, I was like, oh man, I hit something down that hole so you want to get over here for a minute there's a van and all that here everything scraping now if you turn this way it takes you to Ormond Beach this is 40 and if you go back this way it takes you to Ocala and Silver Springs and on to Gainesville and on to my hometown Trenton, Florida. So I will be making a left because there's no need for me to go this way because I'm nice car because I'm not on my motorcycle for bike week. Alrighty, I hope y'all had a good time and thanks a lot for watching.